from like bad situations like that, which is yeah. fun, it's really fun. Really, really fun. Yeah. But let's take it all the way back to the top. Um, <laughs> um, Heroes, you all performed that together. Yeah. What was that like? That was so fun. I was um, so scared to not fall down there upstairs. Yeah, you did well with that. Yeah. And then Will was a gentleman and brought you down to the front. Yeah, no, it was so fun. It yeah. was fun. You guys have never done that, right? No, no it was really fun. Cool. Yeah. It was yeah. the first time I actually sung that song. And then I would realize that the lyric is kind of like limiting on how long you could be a hero. <laughs> it says you could be a hero just for a day. I'm like, just for a day? That's a pretty short subscription. <laughs> <laughs> and was this penny dropping live on stage as you, as you sing it? Penny dropping? Yeah, the penny dropping, you know. Like realization. This realization. Oh, yeah, yeah, penny dropping. <laughs> Well, come on, let's <laughs> behave, yeah. No, pennies, pennies. Pennies, yes, yes. Didn't say anything about pennies. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my uh, sweet uh, I see. Oh, you see why Emma really has got such a tough job giving all of these in check. Um, I just come and play games with you afterwards, which is very fun indeed. <laughs> In a very hot room. In a always hot in your room. You know, I'm always stop thinking about that maths question that I didn't get right. Oh my god, oh, that's I love that. We were asked a year six yeah, sax yeah. question and none of us got it right. <laughs> Actually, from <laughs> oh, did you? You got it right. You had a calculator out. I, I spent about five hours on it. I didn't do much. See, that's the thing. I persevered till the end. It took me a long time, but I did get there. Yeah, I panicked. Wow. I panicked. That's impressive. Oh, I've got it. Two seven maths. I'm like, ooh, God. Yeah. Is that three, God. six, nine, twelve, fifteen? Eight. No, we didn't ask you three times tables, Jess. We just wanted to answer this question. Yeah. yeah, we haven't been good at the maths. Even like when it turns. Yeah. How many have you got? How many have you got? And they were like, oh, that's two plus five. We've got four left. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> you've been letting the thing down with that, have What? <laughs> the maths. I have. I've been bad with maths. I don't know why. This year, I'm bad at maths. No, but it's just this year. Yeah, it's just what? Music. But actually, you taught us something about sound, bouncing off walls and yeah, everything. I mean, it was very, it was a very exciting conversation, guys. It really, <laughs> it really was. Um, Jesse J, of course, you have joined the lineup this year. Is it good to be back? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine I said no and dropped the mic and just gone back. Uh, what a great story for all of you guys. Um, I can't stand the sound of my voice. That hasn't changed. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> but honestly, it's the most annoying thing ever. No! Um, but no, I mean, obviously the first season I did with Will, 
Um, so to be sitting next to him again and us being mischievous and making each other laugh, it was great. And then these two are like magical. So having these three around me, obviously I was really nervous and not knowing how I was going to be with the big kids because I'm really, I can be quite serious, but then it was a different side of me that people don't often get to see. Um, like when I'm with my niece and my nephews and my friends' kids, and so it, it's it's a really special like thing for me to do. Yeah. Like in my own personal life, so I just yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm really hot and I don't know how to talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do. It's so hot. He's my tit tape. Well, we 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 were laughing because we're like, like every tape. every time we came on the screen, we were sweating out ourselves. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what's he doing now? Like, even the faces you pull, like. Yeah, when you, a funny face. When you, yeah, but it's mad what music does. I don't realise when you listen to music and you're like, yeah, <laughs> oh shit, I'm a camera. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, what am I doing? Oh, but it's good that you get lost in the moment. Well, I, was, I was doing my dance face, like, stank face. <laughs> yeah, like, why do we do that face? I'm just like, I'm just like, I'm about to cry the whole episode. <laughs> I mean, Pixie looks winded sometimes, it's quite uh, funny. Uh, it's, I, t I, I, I didn't know I could pull those things <laughs> out. It's impressive. Faces I've never done before, I'm sure. I love it, I love it. And long may it continue. Um, Bill, you've got the face you They didn't do that face in like the 1800s when they danced, did they? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna do that. Yeah, that's it's a new show. Oh, music oh, 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 Mentally and like spiritually, they go. I'm like, what? How? She's like, I've done to them. I'm like, you guys fancy at night? Like, what the what? I wasn't really fancy until I was 20. Yes, I know. You've got the couple and um, David and Amale. Yeah, they remind me of me and my best friend Abel Diab like so much. Like, wow. The opposites are like, me and Apple, we don't know our fathers. Mm. We're raised by our moms, and to see David and Armani there with their dads, I was like, wow, you guys are like the flip mm. of me and Apple the app. It was, it's beautiful, their friendship. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And Danny, you know, as we touched upon earlier, you don't see the backstories, um, and you've just witnessed Sam's very emotional story. How does it make you feel now watching that back? <clears throat> it's better. I, your body has a way of telling you what's kind of happening and you find your way in the universe, but it's like, you just know when someone's got it, like, or, or trying to, I don't know what it was, something was telling me to, I mean, it was amazing, but to have it so much soul at his age, it's got to come from somewhere. You can't just make that up. Yeah. Um, and, um, it's, yeah, it was emotional, like, you know, Jesse had the... Oh, I mean, I've got a whole stash of Nando's tissues that have been snotted <laughs> over there. And they all say hot mess on them, and I was like, yep, that's me. Covered <laughs> <laughs> in meat and sauce, didn't want to give that in my eyes. <laughs> it was sorry, sorry, sure. sure. No, it was fine, it was No, I mean, honestly, I just said, like, it gives a whole other layer of even what we went through when we met him. And these kids, man, like, this is real life. This is their real life. Like, he lost his mum 15 months before that audition, and that was only, what, six months ago, if that? Yeah, the impact of that song now, knowing what's happened, and he wrote, we yeah. didn't know at the time, we are just yeah. like, this is a cool song he wrote. <clears throat> and, and now you're like, oh my god, it like, really, and it hit, when we heard it, I was like, wow, you are so in tune with your emotions, you're spiritually advanced, not knowing the backstory. Now when you know the backstory, I'm like, wow, that, Wow, I, do, I can't even explain. There's no words to ex try to, you know, pinpoint what he was going through. But now that you know, you see what he was going through and how he just rinsed out his spirit into that song. And that is I so brave. That that I just, that I think it's incredible. incredible. Yeah, I think all of us as artists, anyone created pulls from real life, and I don't think that you often get to witness it with kids. 
Mm. You That's something that you usually they, sort of learn when you're older. Yeah, well, you're only ever really given the opportunity when you're older. So this mm. is what is amazing about this show, is teaching kids to emotionally allow themselves to heal in their own way, whether it's singing, writing, poetry, rapping, running, you know, like it's it's their own outlet of coping with grief and it's it's a really it's a really special thing to I see. think I also think that vulnerability and to show that at that age is actually it shows great strength. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I was, I was talking to a friend of mine, somebody that I know that was going they went through something really hard and it crumbled them. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to understand like why why couldn't you take the opportunity? And they said I was just going through so much stuff. And so he lost that opportunity. And then when I see, sorry. Sam. Sam. When I saw Sam, he just lost his mom, which is, you know, a trillion times heavier than what an adult crumbled with. Mm -hmm. so it wasn't even that heavy. Mm -hmm. To see how he, you know, coped with it and how music became their therapy became their medicine, and that was his coping. Mm. To see his him bright with, with energy and spirit mm. just makes you see and realize how strong youth are. Absolutely. Right? And, and this show really highlights just the strength of the youth. Because when you think of the youth like, oh, you little kids, like, these kids are not all oh, little kids. They're like, it gives you a different perspective of just how strong the kids are. Yeah, exactly. And if we as adults can protect them a little bit more, provide opportunities for them to the way that we, you know, think of business. If we think of business and even so much to where the business that we support in society is hard for and, and bad for communities. Like just go down any aisle in your supermarket. That's a business. But if you go down any aisle at a school, they don't treat that as a business and we don't support our kids the way we support business, we should. And that's why, like you said, Jesse, this is such an amazing opportunity for everyone to learn how to channel their talents and their emotions yeah. in a really positive way. Yeah. And, you know, the, you know, we see children expressing their grief through music, but also their joys. <laughs> Exhibit Joe. He's a naughty, <laughs> born dancing Joe. Oh, um, Joe. Okay. And he comes straight after Sam, huh? Yeah. yeah. That's what we mean, is it? <laughs> I was like, oh. oh. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a wide variety, and you do your emotions are all over the place. That's why, like, watching, watching it back, it is a bit of a blur when it's all going on, because they're long days, we see so yeah. many different kids, so many different stories and personalities. And that's why by the end it all goes a bit mad, as you can see with the singing pitch. Like, we don't even know what's going on. And then watching it back, it's like, oh my God, that is what happened. Oh my God. Because it goes from that sort of singer to that sort of singer. Kaylin Joe pops in. And uh, you can't really explain it. Uh, you know, you can't really explain it. Well, it's like it's it. straight away widened widen the spectrum of... Yes. Uh, yeah. You know, right. it's gone even further, like... You know. It has, it has. But yeah, I couldn't deny, like, you know, most of the time I'm really listening for the notes and the soul and the story, but then when you, when there's a personality that big, you can't deny that that is like a born entertainer, a performer, and it makes you, you've got to see it. You've got to I, heard his, I heard his feet first. <laughs> I mean, he was doing some moves, wasn't he? Did you see the look? It was the way, it was the way when he came out. I didn't see it till these like... No, I didn't see the beginning till now. I didn't know who was doing all that stuff. Oh, it's great. And that barn dance thing, we actually did that for about half an hour. <laughs> That's why after that I was a bit out of breath because I wasn't expecting it to go on that long. <laughs> In real life, it was about half an hour. Yeah. Yeah, the team, like when we were doing it live. But editor, wow, you guys really did a good job editing that. Because in my memory, that happened for like a good hour. Oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. I want to stop. I didn't want to be like, let's stop you this now. Right? Then, me, then me and you danced. It yeah. just, it just went on. Then we danced together. So Bill's actually really pleased that he, he watched yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. just good to sit back and watch, actually, guys. Uh, so <laughs> I, didn't sure. re I didn't realise there were that many moves in a barn dance. <laughs> well, there's about 17. That's another one. Another one. Yeah. I thought we just that Where one, he's riding in a circle. Yeah, yeah. Was, he did like, a, it was a whole routine. It was. <laughs> <laughs>
Because I remember, yeah, with that editor, thank you guys so much for, for that amazing edit. Yeah, my what but was this show. Hacky. He said something like, I, what did he say? It was his joke. So at barn dances, everyone throws hay at him and he doesn't like it because he's got hair fever. <laughs> my my face is that yeah, one. What's that? Yeah. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is it? I think they saw the show as far away. He must have, he definitely made that joke up because that is not a joke. No, it's funny though. It's funny, it was funny. We wanted it to, we wanted it to, um, Pixie, you're the main <laughs> champion. You've won again and again. Could this year be your hat trick? <sighs> I don't like to feel the pressure. Um, but, you know, as you saw, I, I lost to Mari. In the first episode, which I was very distraught about. <laughs> and I was, I was going in for that pitch. Yeah. I don't think I've ever gone that hard before. You was begging. Uh, yeah, I was actually begging. <laughs> which is the worst. Like, it's always if you beg and then you win. It's like, okay, let her on. But you beg and then you lose out. And then it's like, wait, there's 15,000 words. You feel so weird. You feel so weird, don't you? It's like, oh. Thinking, Ed, please edit that out. No. <laughs> didn't you say, didn't okay. you say, like, so what are you going to do next time? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, and you said I've given my all, so what do you say? I, I have nothing left. Absolutely nothing. nothing. And, and, and that's quite early on as well. Yeah. Oh, well. You win some, you lose some. You win some, you lose no, some. No, I'm okay. sorry. That was great. Jesse's back. Jesse, I'm really sorry, and then continued. Jesse. <laughs> I also may have been the edit. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the edit. Oh, that savage. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pixie. Give us some space. Just a little bit. That must have been the edit. Unless you got that final singing pitch was absolutely incredible. We all enjoyed it. Wait, that was the first out of all the voices on planet Earth? That needs to become a thing, like, for real, yeah. like, in the show. There should, Big be, like, time. Okay. there should be, like, five singing pictures. You know, like, it, like that you guys should decide when they are, and it's like, it's time for a singing. I don't know why I remember it. It's time for a singing. You It's time for a singing. You mix them and you mix the world together. If they can't be said America, if they can't be said America, got it. I don't want to be myself. I love myself. It's time for a singing. I don't want to do that voice though. Like what? All the different voice kids is. No, like throughout the audition. You know, like <laughs> you, know, you know, like you have like different things that come in, and it should be like there's a you know a format point. Yeah, a format point. Thank you. That's the word. Focus it's, it's the biggest word I know. Um, yeah, and then you, we should do like five. That should just be you know streamed on iTunes immediately. That pitch. They're gonna <laughs> copy it. I swear to you, yeah, America's gonna copy it. Then the French is going to do their the French version. The they're going to do it in France. It's going to be like that. <laughs> then the German Jesse one. Jesse Jane. <laughs> she is the Jane. Yes. She is the Jane. She is the Jane. I'm telling you. We invented some stuff up in here. We invented it. So finally, um, you know, can each coach just give me, you know, a sum up of your teams, because your teams have been oh, formed oh, it, in three ways, no, but before that... There I am. No, to, <laughs> to the editors. You guys, it was right after I did my Louis Armstrong thing, you guys edited that out, because really what happened was, Pixie says, oh my gosh, I don't know you could do Cookie Monster. <laughs> not Cookie Monster, that's Louis Armstrong. <laughs> Really? Like, you're not so like Cookie Monster, come on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm like, really, you're so funny being a Cookie Monster. It was his face though, the shock. It was his shock. I was like, what? Cookie Monster? Well, this is the sort of stuff that you will find across all social platforms um, after the show. So it's great. It's gold, isn't it? It's gold. Um, right, so can you sum up your teams in three ways? Or as many ways as you want. You know, I don't want to restrict you. Oh, it's tough. Your team, your team, you can remember them. Go. Young. Oh. <laughs> that was emotional. Mm -hmm. I have quite emotional. 
kids in my team. <laughs> I mean, they are. No, no, they are. <laughs> They're probably crying. <laughs> um, young, emotional, and kind. They're all really kind. Ooh. Like the first time together, they were all like being supportive of each other and telling each other what they loved about each other's voices, and it was really nice. And I was really proud. Oh, okay. Come on, I'm gonna cry so hard when I leave. Like, <laughs> yeah. I got a little bit out, but like, boy, it's it all filled out. up and ready to just come out. You got to your uh, sore throat. You know, your jaw aches. Oh, it's <laughs> awful. <laughs> it's an emotional day. I was dreading this, but it was it was great. It was great. In a good way, not dreading it. Come on, darling. Oh, so my team is yours. Really, really strong. No, they are really, really strong. Um, potential winner. Um, I'm not going to be biased. Um, <laughs> you can't hold them back. Ooh, really, really strong potential winner. I'm not going to be biased. I, oh, no, because you went on one after, you know what I mean? So, no, it's not. Don't come to <laughs> <that. laughs> Um, but like what Jesse said, they're really kind of like, they become great friends mm. and they, um, the friendship lasts after the show and stuff and it's, it's just amazing to get that group of talented kids together and see them all become something through the show. I love that. I love yeah. watching them like get better and better and better. But they are really, really strong. Really, really strong. Yeah. I love that. They inspire me. Nice. Like, I, I was like, I need to, I need to get better. Yeah, <laughs> I need to step it up. Yeah. No, but I can tell, I can really tell because you all, you know, like you said, Jesse, you, you come out, your silly side comes out, your more vulnerable side comes out. Your... There's no boundaries with kids. Yeah. They are what they are. There's no baggage, there's no, I've been turned down, this is my last chance. Like, they're just excited that they got out and they got a happy meal and they're like, <laughs> you know what I mean? They're literally just like, it's the best day ever. You know, I don't know why they're American. Again. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, um, I've got to go home soon. Um, but I, honestly, I'm so blown away. Like, I didn't know what to expect. And just the, like, the diversity in their voices and just like, so great. I love, I love. Pixie, what's your team like? I'm going to go for, so three words. You've had time to think here, so it better be good. Yeah, but my brain was elsewhere. Do you know what I was thinking of when, I was listening. What were you saying to me about? What were you about this? No, what I was thinking was, like, when you watch it back and you sort of forgot what's happened, but then you listen to their voices yeah. and you don't turn and you're like, oh, yeah, they're actually really, really oh. good. And then you start remembering all the other auditions that are really emotional or really funny and then you're like, oh, my gosh, all of this is to come. Yeah. Which you haven't seen yet. Twitter's going to come at you for some of them. Oh, oh no, yeah. I'm not going to go, is it? You do think that, you're thinking, no, no, they're going to think that I've not got a clue what's going on. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a clue. I, I don't know how to sing. I'm not a clue. <laughs> Okay, you may okay. yeah. uh, Right, come on, we've got to... But yeah, so, um, so my team, three words, I'm going to go for personalities, big voices, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and really lovely, friendly, humble <laughs> <people. laughs> It's hard to contain to three words. And you were the one that got the maths question right. <laughs> Three words from you, Rixie. I sometimes go. But I have to say, won't get back now. One word, three syllables. Ooh. Hey, that's real. Go on then. When I am. Um... Fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. Who's next to me? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, my. <I'm... laughs> <laughs> it's like I never, I never, I didn't think that I would enjoy the kids' voice as much as I do when we, when they first asked me to do the kids' voice. I was like, I don't know, the kids, they're gonna cry. Uh, I don't want to break a kid's heart. Like uh, I don't want to. I didn't want to do it. And then I thought about it, and then we did the first season. And then that's when I was like, yo, this is special. Mm. And then we did the second season. I'm like, wow, I kind of like it more than the adult voice. 
And in this time, I'm like, headline. Oh. I'm like, wow. I mean, after C, because I don't remember a lot of what we did because, you know, you gotta, I'm sleepy. <laughs> so I'm, I'm there, you know what I mean? I'm sleepy, it just flew in. And so I'm like, okay. And then when you see it back, I'm like, wow, this is, this show is freaking awesome. Like, it this is. first episode is freaking amazing. Yeah. Um, and I, and I, it was, it's the other way around now. Before it was like, I don't know if the kids are going to be as good as the adults. Now it's like, I don't know if the adults are going to be as <laughs> colorful as these kids. Yeah. Well, do you know what? It is amazing. Uh, it's shaping up to be an incredible series. It kicks off on ITV at 8pm. Saturday. Saturday. Saturday.